And now it's time to set up the recording things. And we are ready to go. What I have set up here is my computer running some Logitech Z313s. Subs down there, speakers oh. up here into the computer. I've got the Yamaha MW10C, um, relatively minimalist mixer, but it definitely does. Just a USB interface, and then over here we have the Samson R31S going into my Randall RX120D. Uh, that's going through a Boss. MD2 and I'll be playing the Gibson Les Paul Studio that I've got over here and then later on I'll be playing the Yamaha DT Explorer um, and yeah we're, we're pretty good to set doot, 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 doot. fantastic oh yeah by the way um, the DAW I'm running is Mixcraft 3.1 which is, it's okay, it's fine, it's it's nothing too professional, I uh, got 50 bucks, yeah, I actually bought something, how about that, <laughs> bought buying software, what is this, but no, just, it's, it's pretty bloody cheap, and it works well for what I do, nothing too fancy, it's kind of the equivalent to, it's a more elaborate garage band for Windows, safe to say, garage band is actually capable of some pretty impressive stuff, if you know how to use it properly, so, there we go, let's do that. Okay, so done with tracking guitars now, that's good, um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I've EQ'd everything, basically. I can't master yet because the only thing I have is guitars. Tomorrow I might head on to bass and drums, who knows what'll happen. But the one thing I was thinking about for the final, um, cut is a bass drop, just might... Probably doesn't sound that impressive on the uh, camera, but as you see, there is a bass drop right there, so that's that's very good right there. <laughs> 